So this is metastasis of the uh, flat bones, uh, revision uh, interventions. Historically, uh, for the first time in, uh, back in 1940s, uh, we used it to, for the reconstruction of uh, skull defects. Then in the, in the 50s, curettage uh, and osteoplasty in the metastasis uh, of the bones in the 72 clinical trials uh, of the first CT. Uh, in 1984, uh, vertebral and in 1992, uh, MIS uh, was further developed. So metastatic impairment, uh, this is uh, radiotherapy and uh, in um, Uh, the um, correction of uh, pain syndrome is not achieved in 60 percent, so we need uh, further ablation. And the uh, disadvantage is that we do not um, um, we do not strengthen the bone and. Uh, So um, on CT or MSCT, it's uh, either systemic uh, fracture or risk of systemic fracture after uh, RT in one to three months or expected uh, lifespan of over three months. Counterindication, um, impair, impaired uh, blood coagulation, systemic or local infection, and distance between the lesion and the vessels or um, important organ uh, below 10 millimeters. And it depends on the experience of the operator. Our experience is 70 patients with metastasis in the flat bones. Uh, observation period between 15 and 21. And uh, we can assess the results in dynamics. Morphology. Uh, predominantly, this is breast cancer as well as uh, kidney cancer and the lung. Multiple and visceral organs and with the fracture and with the risk of uh, proximal fracture. Uh, so iliac bone, uh, thoracic bones, and uh, um, sacral and iliac uh, bones. The uh, pain was assessed by VAS uh, scale before and after treatment, and the difference was over two scores, which means 30% of difference, and it was significant, uh, clinically significant. These are follow-up period from one to 72 months. Within the whole period of follow-up, uh, we marked positive dynamics and uh, stabilization in the area of uh, oncological and orthopedics surgery with a correction of pain. Uh, now, um, ratio uh, or just balance between surgery uh, and con um, conservative treatment was approximately uh, 40 and uh, five, 540 patients all in all, 470 were vertebral plastic and 65 osteoplastic, five of them um, partial uh, plastic surgery of the, of the bones. Now we're not going to speak about um, this in details. Also, there were patients with uh, three onco-orthopedic surgeries, such as lavectomy, osteoplasty of the thoracic uh, compartment, and there were three problematic areas, and we provided all the three uh, types of surgeries. Follow-up period is 72 months, and uh, we also spared them of pain. Now this is uh, approach in the, of the to the iliac bone. Now you can see uh, um, you can see the temperature mode was up to uh, eight degrees. Uh, conclusion: um, MIS surgery is indicated for mixed type of lesions in the pelvis and uh, thoracic bones. It improves the pain and improves the quality of life as well as improves the lifespan of our patients. Also, our follow-up period was up to 72 months and the main aspect that I would like to cover is that uh, not in, in 
the uh, post uh, operative period, but within all the 72 uh, months, we uh, had significant improvement in patient's condition.